most historians think that the Hyksos who were expelled were the military class and the upper class, the elites, who really controlled things. But among the foreign element would have been farmers, shepherds, things like that, and they were not a threat uh, to the Egyptians, nor had they been part of the, uh, part of the Hyksos system that uh, harmed Egypt. Now bear in mind, in the 14th dynasty, I, I showed you that red circle in the delta where we have evidence of the early Hyksos. By the time we get to the time of Ahmosa and the beginning, the transition to the new kingdom, the Hyksos controlled all the way down to Asyut. So they controlled most of Egypt from Asyut through the delta. So at that point, the Said was getting smaller and smaller and, and so you could understand why the kings of Thebes were saying, Khalas, that's enough, and started pushing north. So, uh, so I think the military elite, upper class, people of influence, but farmers, we can use farmers, right? We can use people to make bricks. We can use, they won't harm us. They won't revolt. So I think that's why they were not. But there were people were, but the Egyptians were a little bit, scared of them. They didn't want them to multiply and join with our enemies and repeat history in the same way.